In this video, I'm going to talk about financial scams to avoid the black box scam. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you and a very warm welcome to you even if you're not a trader and if you just stumbled across this video. Okay, so what is the black box scam and how do we avoid it? Generally speaking, the black box scam is in the Forex world. There are some in the stocks and indices and that kind of stuff, but generally it's a signals type of system that you buy on a subscription basis or a one-off lifetime uh, membership basis or lifetime license basis and it spits out basically buy or sell signals or trade signals for a particular market, selection markets, currency pairs, whatever it may be. Now, the thing is with these systems is a lot of the money goes into marketing the actual system. You know, it, it's, it's not really developed with any thought other than how can it be marketed in the best possible manner. It's debatable whether some of these people who are selling these systems or even operating these systems with real money, but they make them look nice and shiny. So what are kind of some things that they, they do on these sales pages to make them look really good and to try and get people to part with their cash? Unrealistic returns. Listen, you can make a system that has a 99% win rate very, very easily. You can make a system that has a 1% win rate very, very easily. That's not the point. The point is how much money it's risking, how much money it's making. People are selling options. So people selling options and making money most of the time. High out of the money options, they're making money, you know, 999 times out of 1,000 or 99 times out of 100. But the one time they lose money is when they blow up. So if you sold that as a black box system, you could say 99% profitability, 99% successful trades. Or if we're talking traditional trading strategy with currency, you could say 2,000 pip stop, 10 pip target. How many of those are you going to get? You're going to get a lot of 10 pip targets, especially if, let's say, part of the system you're adding into the trade as it was going against you and still just looking for a 10 pip retracement. Have we ever moved 2,000 points pips without putting back 10 pips first? I'm sure we have. Very, very rare. The point is, what's the risk on that? So these unrealistic returns are very easy, easy to curve fit something or to make something look better than it is. There's so many parameters we have to look into. So keep an eye out for that sort of stuff. Secret system, you know, this whole cloak and dagger, we can't reveal the strategy and it's very proprietary and all this. I get protecting some part of a system, it kind of makes sense. I mean, people share systems and strategies all the time, but okay, if you wanna protect some part of it, I, I kind of understand that. But you know, not just saying it's a secret thing and just spits out something. It should say, hey, it's based on a trend following strategy. We look for this, this and this, and then we add some kind of proprietary trigger or some proprietary mechanism to, to, to filter the trade and present the trade to you or not. Fine, but you know, a lot of these people are saying, hey, it's all secret, we can't tell you, and you just gotta believe that you know, we're telling you to buy and sell, and you should just take it on face value what to do. You know, if you don't really know the kind of system or strategy and, and, and the ethos behind it, does it mean reversion? Is it trending? Does it do this? Does it do that? When does it trade? When doesn't it trade? What sort of risk does it take? You can't make an informed decision to trade the system or not. Number three, no detail of risk, another massive one, uh, and very similar to this kind of unrealistic returns. You can curve fit a system very, very easily to the last month worth of trade, two months, six months, whatever it may be. You could have a moving average crossover and you could say, yes, look, this signal fired off here and it gave us X profit. And you can adjust it and tweak it to just that specific time period. And you can show those returns and you can say, hey, this is what we would have got. And you've got no idea of risk when it doesn't happen because it's been so curved fit. They haven't had to, haven't had to bother worrying about the risk or the stops. They've just gone, okay, in that scenario, we can use that stop and it's fine. And it works very, very well without detail of risk of, hey, you know what? It's a, it's a highly profitable system, but there's a big long tail risk involved. So you can make an informed decision. Just like people selling options, they know there's a big risk involved with it. So they either deal with it or they don't. You know, they understand the, the concept of it. And also the hidden risk in it. Often we've got systems, especially when they're adding with like a martingale strategy. So they're adding and adding and adding and adding to the position. So as the price is going lower, let's say this is the price, it's heading lower and lower and lower. You know, they're buying some here. They're buying some more here. They're buying some more here, more here, here, here. Keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. Still looking for, you know, their, their 10 pip price target, whatever it is. The market pops back up. 
all of a sudden uh, they can scale out of the position and take you know the majority of the position off or some of the position off or whatever it may be. I mean, obviously if it's three, it's gonna have to be about here, isn't it? For my little drawing there, but you get the idea. Then they can say, hey, you know what? It's a profitable trade. They can do that 100 times and get away with it. But the one time this market continues lower and lower and lower on some significant news or some unusual event and they're adding 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 is the time is completely blow up into oblivion so that's just one way that you can massage something to make it look really really good with no hidden detail of the risk yes you could do that all of a sudden and you yes you may have not had a drawdown but it's coming it's coming it's going to come big and this isn't disclosed in the black box because it's all under this secrecy of a hidden container uh you know it's locked up no one can see and that's kind of the difference between the black box and gray box by the way gray box is kind of an algorithm that, that spouts out signals or or something to look at and then you make a further decision on it you can see it's a bit more transparent than a black box which is kind of a hidden system so being being mindful of that no detail of the risk a good system really has to pay full attention to the risk very very focused on where is the risk because ultimately that's the big deal it's about not only making money but protecting what you've had or you have and not doing any more damage so if there is a drawdown in the system, how does it manage it? How does it manage the trade risk? How does it manage equity drawdown totally in the system risk? How does it adapt? Does it adapt? Does it pull the, does it pull the plug? Does it know when to get involved, when not to get involved? These are the key things of a system that need to be analyzed. And the black box tends to gloss over that and just give you the shiny figures. Again, keep an eye out for that one, right? Number four, guys, last one. Selected system metrics used. A similar thing to all of these, i.e. we've got an X percent win rate. We've got, you know, the most profitable trade was a thousand pips or we've had, you know, five trades that have been over 500 pips. Whatever it may be, it's picking, cherry picking those metrics. And another little sneaky one, which I have seen before, which is pretty bad, is they've, they've split up uh, trades into, let's say they've split them up into uh, USD, JPY, uh, GBP, USD, uh, Euro, USD, you get the point. I can carry on here for a long, long time, but they've split the trades up and they see how the system goes for how, whatever period of time. And again, we're talking about selected, selected system metrics here, Select, selected, get if I can say that, selected time periods. If we have a massive losing month, oh, we'll just ignore that one. And we'll just say, oh, from that period to this period, we've had X percent return. Again, being very selective with the truth. But going back to the initial point, what I've seen before is they've categorized these or they've split these up into kind of uh, blocks and they've removed anything that hasn't performed very, very well. So rather than being transparent and saying, hey, this whole system has been running on these four, five, six, seven currency pairs, whatever it may be, here are the results, here's the drawdown. They may have run it on that and they may have said, you know what, we've got hammered on three of those. Let's say, you know, USD has absolutely hammered us, Euro US dollar has absolutely hammered us. That doesn't look very good for the system. Okay, well, we can quite truthfully in inverted commas, say that our system on GBP USD has performed very, very well and given us an 80% success rate or whatever, again, using whatever metrics they want, and kind of ignoring the fact that on those two, if you'd have traded with every system, you would have lost money. Is it truthful? It is, I suppose, because they're saying that on, on cable GBP USD, they made some money out of it, but they're just admitting to tell you that on every other currency pair, uh, they lost money. So again, it's been selected, it's been selective, with the system metrics used, what, what was working, what wasn't working, the time period they used. These are all the games, guys, that they use. The other, I think the big summary, the big takeaway from this is, if it's a black box system and it looks like it's too good to be true, as with a lot of things, it probably is. If the system creates, I'm not saying all systems are bad, definitely not, but you've got to be careful. Again, with all a lot of things in trading, there's a lot of good sides to it and a lot of scammers as well. So being careful of this black box scam. If you think there's a system that looks good, ask some more questions about it. Say, hey, what's the biggest risk? You are not. You say, I'm, I'm, I may still want to employ this system. I just want to know where my risk is in it. I, I get that I've got to take some risk to get some reward. Where's the risk in the system? What does it trade? How much data have you got you can show me? Let me see it and I'll make my own informed decision from it. All right, guys, that's the black box scam. I'm keeping up for that one. If you know anyone who's kind of falling for that or getting sucked into some sort of material based on that, then just chuck on this video and say, hey, have a look at this and make sure you're happy with what you see and get some ideas and questions to ask the system provider uh, before you part with your hard earned cash. All right, guys, good trading. See you in the next one. Thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff. Take care. Bye bye.